All right, what's up, y'all? Today, to be honest, was not really a good start. Uh, I went to bed late. I woke up late, which caused me to miss work. And, um, you know, instead of like, you know, after getting up, you know, just doing my usual thing, I just went right to eating breakfast. And you might think like, you know, how is eating breakfast a bad start to your day? Well, here's the thing. Here's what I like to do. When I wake up, I like to eat very light, very small, um, especially when I'm working out in the morning. I like to eat very light, so I like to eat maybe a banana or just some fruit, just like an apple or orange, whatever the case may be. Uh, drink some water, of course, and then uh, after that, I'll work out and I'll feel like I feel like my performance is like, you know, on a level. I feel like just I'm able to feel everything a lot better, be a lot more present. But, you know, I didn't do that. My usual breakfast. Oh, and then I'll eat breakfast, right? I'll, then I'll eat breakfast after um, my workout. And so my usual breakfast is usually a bowl of oatmeal um, and some eggs. Uh, the oatmeal will contain like a bunch of fruits like blueberries, bananas, raisins, um, you know, whatever else, strawberries maybe, and some honey, cinnamon, uh, almond milk, you know, whatever. Uh, and then, of course, like I said, some eggs. And, you know, usually after eating that bowl of oatmeal, uh, I'm very, like, full, I would say. Like, my stomach, like, I feel bloated, or I am bloated usually, and then I kind of end up feeling, like, slow and sluggish, which I think I should change up. But... The main, the main, the main part of this was that I did that before I worked out, right? And so during my workout, I felt slow and sluggish, and I felt like I wasn't able to focus as much. I just felt like I had so much brain fog, just so much like brain fog, just so much like like no type of mental clarity. And I feel like um, you could probably even see that in my workout. I just kind of like. I, it's like I just wasn't motivated to do my work and I wasn't just in the right, I'd say, like mental space or had enough mental toughness to get through the workout. I didn't even do the hundred squats, um, you know, that I have been doing. And so that just kind of like, you know, wasn't a great start to my day. And yeah, right. So it, it it's just one thing is, is like sometimes you might get knocked off your path or knocked off your routine, but as long as you know that you're going to continue and stick to it, like in the next couple of moments or in the next day or whatever the case may be, then, you know, I feel like maybe it's not too much to worry about. But if you are the type of person who feels like it's kind of hard to for you to stick to a, a, a consistent routine that is good for you especially, then... You know, what I did today, if you did anything similar to what I did today, then, you know, that could be a problem for you. And it's also just crazy just to see, like, how, like, one thing, like, for one, I woke up late, right? And then for two, I ate breakfast um, a lot earlier than I usually would. And so, like, just that just kind of set the mood for my day. You know, all, like, you know, everything I've been doing for the past two years and then, like, you know, those odd couple of days out of the year or out of the month just kind of creep up and it kind of feels like you just got hit by a bus or something like that right and one thing uh that i feel like really did mess me up was staying up late i did go to bed a lot later than usual i kind of was up um trying to get the previous video together uh to be uploaded in time and whatnot and i did get home late and but another thing was that me, myself, I decided to go to bed late. Um, not even decided, I ended up staying up. And so, of course, I was just going to mess with how I felt when I woke up. And when I woke up, I felt tired. Even though technically I got more sleep, I felt tired. And another thing, when I woke up, um, after I ate breakfast, you know, I didn't like sit and kind of think to myself or anything like that. Almost right after I woke up, I even... Um, I even I even played video games. I watched YouTube and stuff like that. And that might be very normal for you. That might be super normal for you, right? But at least when it comes to the video games, right? 
I don't want to wake up and let that be the first thing I do, right? Or one of the first things that I do, especially after breakfast or before breakfast. Um, and then like watching YouTube, that I feel like that can be very distracting when I'm just getting my day started because I'm having my head and my mind just filled with, you know, a bunch of other people's thoughts and ideas. And I can't even get my own my own thoughts and ideas together, um, you know, after waking up, right? I can't even process you know, how I feel waking up if I'm just immediately uh, putting distractions in front of my face, right? And I feel like uh, playing the games and playing, uh, not playing, but looking at YouTube kind of also added to the mental fog that I had while I was working out and after, because it even, it even dragged with me afterwards. So it was just like, bro, like, why can't I feel like I, I why can't I feel like I'm focusing you know, I just didn't feel like I was in it. it. Everything just felt so off, right? Everything just felt so off. And that's one thing, too, being able to know your body. Because who knows, right? You know, it could be one little change, and then you end up feeling like this for, like, every single day, right? Maybe you even do feel like this every single day, and you just need to make, you know, a couple of changes here and there and throughout your life in order to feel a lot better, right? Because... There's a lot of people that have symptoms of where they just always feel tired or sleepy or well they where they have like almost like static in their brain or something like that. That's what that's that's my best description of mental fogness or brain fog, I mean. But there's many ways to take care of that such as uh getting better sleep quality or just, you know, sleeping longer. Um another thing would be to eat cleaner. Uh, exercise, try and cut out any excess noise, um, especially noise that you deliberately put yourself through. Like maybe you always listen to music or play music or you're always watching YouTube or having the TV on or, you know, whatever the case may be, you know, listening to podcasts, things like that. Um, another thing would be to, I feel like, um, cold showers. I... Here and there, uh, it's in the winter, it's going to be a lot colder, so I haven't taken as much cold showers, um, but just kind of like, you know, cold water exposure, um, especially in the morning or before workout, I feel like that's a lot better to kind of just clear out any just static in your brain that ends up holding you back throughout the day or throughout the week. Another thing would be to... Um, Think about like addictions, right? Any addictions or any vices that you have, kind of cut those out. Um, because a lot of vices and a lot of addictions, they're usually not beneficial to us, whether that be drinking, smoking, uh, pornography, junk food, gambling, you know, it, practically anything, anything whatsoever can become addiction, even your phone, right? Another thing, yeah. Another thing to limit brain fog would be to... Uh, just kind of eliminate the an overuse of taking in information and, um, you know, what it is that you do with your technology, whether that be your smartphone and things like that. Um, you could do something as simple as turning the color off, like putting uh, the thing in black and white. I do that here and there. And I feel like it allows me to just not have my brain constantly like processing like all these bright, flashy colors that constantly want my attention. Therefore, I'm more focused and aware of my actual real life surroundings. Um, you know, just things like that. You know, allow yourself to kind of sit in thought or to journal a little bit. Just so you kind of... Just so you can kind of just know what you're thinking and what you're feeling and whatnot. But, you know, I guess maybe moral of the story is just to... I don't know, have some type of routine that you follow... And make sure to not break that routine because you might end up feeling like poo-poo caca. And you don't want to feel like poo-poo caca.